Well, Alicia, neighbors are still trying to pick up the pieces a year later. Some of them even getting out there in these neighborhoods, boarding up some of these vacant homes, but they say they could still use some help. For those who are left on Robinwood Street, they say living here is now very lonely. A year ago today, fire destroyed about 85 homes across the city. You can see from the sky how flames engulfed house after house. Just yesterday, the mayor addressed how the city responded then. I don't care how much you prepare. Um, all you can do is respond uh, to that. And I think we responded, but there were a lot of people who were affected in a negative way. Uh, and we have to continue to improve. To this day, you can see a lot of homes boarded up. Valeria McKinstry Austin is one of the few left here. It's sad because you don't have your neighbors. You don't um, have the communication with the other citizens. It's uh, lonely. Austin said at first the city cleaned up a lot of debris, but she says a year later there was still a lot of work to do. Recently, Austin and other neighbors have been trying to board up homes, but it's too much for the small group. After asking for the city's help, they feel forgotten. The city says that it's the um, bank's responsibility or private owners. They need to come and take care of their property. The citizens is doing what we can, but we, it's, it's hard to try to keep this up. Action News placed calls into the mayor's office to see if there was a plan to go back into these neighborhoods devastated by the fires or if there was any kind of a cleanup plan, but we have not heard back. Reporting live from downtown, Tara Edwards, Channel 7 Action News.